I did some checking up on you, and they're saying that you are the reason for the new arrow screen uh, that keeps everything from flying into the cockpit. I, I think it's a good look. Tell me a little bit about that new arrow screen. When I look at the IndyCar now, it looks like a, a fighter jet. I think it's a good look. Tell me about how you came up with that. Well, we had been working on that for a couple of years, and it was really just a, just a, like a, almost a, a shield, you know, kind of a wind, like a wind screen kind of type thing. And it was needed. Yeah, it was needed, absolutely. Um, and we were not having a lot of luck getting it done. So fortunately, the, the Red Bull F1 guys are good friends from my Red Bull days. They had been working on a similar type project, but they had this frame across the top. So this was what was incredible. When we did this in, I guess it was 2018, um, we basically called our friends at Red Bull Advanced Technologies in March and said, hey, we're having a hard, hard time putting this, this our aero screen together on our car. What if we collaborated? You helped us with the, what you'd been working on, and we figured out how to do this. So that was in March. By um, February of the next, so February of uh, 2019, we had it on 26 cars at an open test at uh, Circuit of the Americas. So it was an engineering marvel. It was done really quick. Um, the, the frame, the upper frame is 3D printed out of titanium. It's spectacular from Pankel. Uh, PPG does the actual shield, which is um, unbelievable. We've threw uh, pr three pound projectiles at it at 220 miles an hour and it just bounces off. It's spectacular to watch this whole thing. So it's been, a, it's been very well received. There's been probably, I don't know, the last couple of years, five or six incidents that probably that had really good results that might, you know, you can't speculate, but might not have if we had not had the screen on the car um, or the aero screen. So uh, it was it was a really cool project to be part of. I think, like you mentioned, it kind of changed the look of the cars. It kind of changed where we're at. Where we're at. When we did it, there was really three things to it. It was, um, number one was obviously safety, right, to make our drivers safer. Number two was uh, we thought it could help bring in other competitors, other drivers, because, you know, we've made the cars even safer. And three, the team set an opportunity to monetize it. If you look at the cars, it's pretty cool. They got you know, branding on top of it. So it's, it's a really good spot on the car, on the inside of it or the outside of it, depending if you have any, uh, a camera in the car. So um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been, it was a great project. Lots of people were involved. Um, we did it really quick. We're really proud of, really proud of the result. 